Hello everybody, this is Repo, and I'm playing Batman, the Telltale series. Let's do it! Episode 4. So this is Bruce Wayne. God damn. Wow. You know what? I really didn't expect. Thing would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface, uh, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. And let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. Hmm. Steamy. It's business time. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I. <laughs> I remember this. You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's done. <sighs> Vicky. They can't spell Vicky without Iggy. I'll get you for this. I am Revenge. I am the Knight. I am in Arkham. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect that. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. Doctor. What? Why is there so much blood? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Naked again, Bruce. Come on. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Look at your fists. Is it you? No, it's not. Uh, let's put on, put on some clothes. I hope they washed it. Asylum. This can't be happening. Oh, yeah. This can't be real. Why'd you put it on then? Let's see. I was sure it was Scarecrow, but oh, okay. Better be decent. I am. You settled? Good. Anything you need? 
Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh, shit. <gasps> a taser. A taser, my dick. You were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. Uh. I hope to God there is a hell. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Ow. A teaser! Come on, where's the quick time events? Oh, my neck! Shit. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Rude! Churlish! Not nice! Who dead? How do you like it? You are pathetic! Who? Ah! Ah! It's my friend! Buddy? Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? I... Ungrand? I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each other, who will, right? What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? <laughs> of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. It was all a blur. I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't Come expect on. it to happen so fast. Excitement! I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Looking out for the new guy. <laughs> Why is he so pale? I'm Dr. Joan Leland, Who are you? Head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry. I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. John. <laughs> what a pretty name. John. I like John. He looks familiar, but I don't know, maybe it's the bloodless skin. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. But there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Blood like a metaphor for racism? You know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. Well, that's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself now. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! You gotta be more 
careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Sure. Do you remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Well, what the fuck? No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. No! <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such no. persistence. Wrong number, dumbass. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Wanna take good care of him. <laughs> Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy <laughs> oh shit that's a big guy but everyone's friendly mostly i watch yourself around those two Ooh. not a big fan of strangers zaz and just oh bit. it's the ventriloquist you know, prone to outbursts of violence what did they do this is arkham bro Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! <laughs> Where is the remote? Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Okay. Let's knock. Nurse! I need some meds. That's the way the... Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. Come on. Oh, actually, I it's wasn't... It's not time I... for meds either. Beat it. Okay. Such friendly people. Not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's just... It's just, it's just hey, noise. Billy. What's up, yo? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Thanks. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Okay, shot in the ass. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No reason. Doesn't work there. Lewis. What? No, that wasn't me. I, I'm saying Lewis. And, and that was <laughs> that was crazy, Lewis. You see? <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. <laughs> You're right. Hmm. Sure. Uh, sure. What 
catch that. Oh, no, 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 that's not polite at all. At all. Wesker. Doctors. Hello. Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. Oh, I think okay. a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Maybe he checked himself in. Oh Batman shit! Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. You are nasty. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Oh, I'm sorry, the guy. We can never do that. Not to all of us. He cheats. Every time. He cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Thanks. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? And why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm speaking as a, <clears throat> as a profession. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. All right. Thanks. Good talk. Not the right key for this. Phone. Hmm. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? Hey, John. Your key is broken. Your key it didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. Politicians usually to tears. But this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. Yeah, it's sure. my Gotham. No one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing, I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. That's true. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. 
Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the, uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You wanna find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I like you too. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be... <laughs> it wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Oh shit, you're right. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, Murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable oh, shit. thirst for vengeance. For the same. Surely you can relate. I'm not Batman. Why should I just say that? <laughs> that uh, yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. I'm not you bad man. You are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. What? No, I'm not. I'm not Superman. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. Eh, I can... Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? Sure. I tell you uh, what, I'm gonna make a distraction met you. to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. 
you make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Come on. Okay. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Skip your feet itching. Burning! Need to... Need to... Oh, shit. No! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Call security! GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> Come on, John. Oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Well, good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're going to put on quite a show. Hmm. Interesting. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with the mirror, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom <laughs> to criticize me okay. or this facility in that okay, way. Okay, I'm sorry. Because from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. One moment. Oh, they're like the Sims. Seems you have a visitor. <gasps> Alfred! Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Thanks, Doc. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> Some guy didn't buy me dinner. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. 
Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? You think you can just walk away from me? Just like that, after everything you've done? Yeah. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. Come on. What's going on here? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Go over to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? The hell is this? Say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. 
Hey, he's the problem, not us! Ram the barricade! This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Hey! Shit, my mind. Like, oh god, my mind. So angry. What's happening? What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. Ow. Oh. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Sure. Just get um, out. I understand. Get out of the way, just... But I understand. <laughs> You're just... Thank you. Uh, I appreciate just... that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. So where are you gonna go? Just go, man. What business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Don't fuck it up, Bruce. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Yeah, bye. You're just a distraction. Ah, my home. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Yeah, that's you see true. the way it's still affecting Harvey? He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. Yeah. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Nice. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. <sighs> Let's go. Let's see what's the update. Hmm. You can't use the mouse scroll? Okay. Yay, Alfred. Uh, 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 everyone leaves. Wait, who's that? She's a girl, but she sounds like a man. Okay. I, I think I've seen it all. Blah 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 Yeah right Very weird This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. Okay. 
Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Shit. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. I think that's it. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Looks like it. There. My God, I'm a genius. I should do it. Okay. Let's get it. Get it. Drug ourselves up. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Come on, Alfred. You're, you're a medic. Uh. How did he know? Oh, yeah, I'm clearing up. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending <laughs> to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce, there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust <laughs> someone in Arkham Asylum? Probably. No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. Yeah. 